Hi guys, Andre from Conveyor of Random Assay and today I'll be looking at using the Razer Kraken Tourner Edition headset on a PlayStation 4. If you saw my video on the Razer Kraken Tournament Edition headset using on an Xbox One, you'll know that I mentioned that if anyone wanted a video on me using this on a PS4, then I'd make that video. Well, that comment came and here I am making that very video. This video will only be on the functionality of using the Razer headset while playing on a PlayStation 4. If you want to see my in-depth video where I look at the unboxing, technical details, look, style and comfort of this headset, then I will link to that video up there and in the description below. In the comments section of that video, a few people were asking specifically about the USB audio controller. When using the Krakens on an Xbox, the USB audio controller is completely incompatible and won't work at all, leaving you with the only option to listen to your gameplay through the headphone jack plugged directly into the Xbox controller. Although you can also use this headset with the PS4 via the jack plugged into the controller, you can also use the headset plugged into the USB audio controller directly to the PS4. You would think that this would give you access to the THX spatial audio, but unfortunately it doesn't, as this feature is only reserved for connections to computers. Testing this headset plugged into both the controller and the USB audio controller, I can definitely hear there is a slight difference between the sound quality replicated in both instances. Although good quality, you can definitely tell the better than stereo surround sound quality when plugged into the controller, while via the USB audio controller there is definitely more depth, bass and definition in the sound, similar to the immersive sound you get when you install the DTS Sound Unbound app on the Xbox, which aims to give you that further 3D audio experience. But unlike on the Xbox app, with the Krakens on the PS4, other than increasing the volume of the sound, there is no other settings that will allow you to customise the sound quality. Although at the same volume level, the Kraken in the USB audio controller does seem a lot louder compared to being plugged into the controller. The microphone, although probably the weakest part of this headset in general due to its often at times low output, there should be enough there for speaking in your party chat or streaming clearly and concisely. This is me testing the Razer Kraken Tourner Edition headset microphone. So, the Razer Kraken Tournament Edition headset, is it for PS4 gamers? Most definitely, yes. You're not going to get the full capabilities of the headset like you would if you used it on PC, but you've got that flexible headset that has two different ways of being plugged into your PlayStation 4 to suit your gaming preferences. Although I'd recommend plugging it in via the USB audio controller as it gives the sound quality that extra immersion. You've also got a headset that is cross-platform compatible. It is going to work and give you good gaming sound quality if you have a PC, Mac, Xbox One, Switch, your mobile, as well as your PS4. If you are though solely using it on consoles, you'd probably be better off with one of the Razer Kraken headsets, which would be more beneficial as you'll be buying the same headset cheaper and without the USB audio controller and the additional spatial audio functions it brings. But it all depends on which platform you intend to use it on. Being on top of your hearing senses is very much an important part of gaming these days when it comes to potentially being able to give you the edge on your opponent or overcoming a difficult section on a campaign mode. And with the Razer Kraken Tourner Edition headset, you're definitely going to noticeably improve your gaming experience, particularly if you're coming from a more budget headset. I hope you enjoyed this short video on using the Razer Kraken Tourner Edition headset on a PS4. If you did, please like and subscribe to the channel. Remember, if you want to see my in-depth review on this headset, go visit the video linked in the description below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Why don't you go and watch one of the two videos below, or both if you want. Click before the time runs out. Three, two, one, go.